القرآن يوحدنا لطريق الخير يوجهنا الله تعالى أنزله ورسول الله معلمنا ورسول الله معلمنا قل أرأيتم إن أهلكني الله ومن معي أو رحمنا فمن يجير الكافرين فمن يجير الكافرين من عذاب أليم. Say, O Muhammad, have you considered whether Allah should cause my death and those with me or have mercy upon us? Who can protect the disbelievers from a painful punishment? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أرأيتم إن أهلكني الله ومن معي أو رحمنا فمن يجير الكافرين من عذاب أليم With this ayah starts the final section of the surah Allah Ta'ala says to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم to say قل Have you considered whether Allah should cause my, that is, Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's death, and those with me, that is, the Sahaba ikram, radiallahu anhum ajma'een, or that he has mercy upon us, who can, who can protect you from the inevitable punishment. Meaning, if I am not here, and my companions, you know, not being here, is it going to help you in any way? قُلْ أَرَعَيْتُمْ Say, have you considered if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was to أَهْلَكَ that is, that is, destroy me, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَمَمْ مَعِيَ and those who are with me أَوْ رَحِمَنَا or He has mercy upon us. Now, one thing that we need to look here is that the Prophet says what Allah Ta'ala has asked him to say and he said in ahlakani Allahu that is if Allah Ta'ala destroys me or causes my death and my companions death Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Aw Rahimana or he has mercy upon us. Now he didn't say that he keeps us alive and this is actually one of the Quranic lessons we get from this ayah and what we learn here is that life itself is one of the greatest forms of mercy of Allah because in this life you know this is the life that we are able to work for our akhirah you know we make arrangements for our akhirah for ourselves there is a hadith where the Prophet ﷺ mentioned the best person is the one who lives long and his, his deeds and actions are very good. So we learn from here, Aw Rahimana, whether he has mercy upon us, that life itself is a mercy from Allah. It is a blessing. It is actually an opportunity from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of his biggest mercies upon us. Famai, so who will yujiru? And yujiru means basically to grant safety to someone, you know, to protect someone from their enemies or protecting someone from a painful, tormenting punishment. So the Prophet ﷺ is being told by Allah to ask them, you know, basically to check themselves that think about yourself, whether we die or we live. Think about what's going to happen with you. Who is going to protect you? Now here, another message for all of us, even for the present day. And it is that even in that time, until now, it was Prophet wasallam and his companions, radiallahu anhum, that they were trying to protect us. You know, they gave us a lifestyle to save us from the punishment. So even when Prophet ﷺ is not with us, it does not change anything of what he was given to teach us. You know, the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ is what has been taught. 
and it is for every generation whether he sallallahu alaihi wasallam is with us or not it's immaterial whether he is there with us or not unless and until we follow his sunnah unless and until we follow his path sallallahu alaihi wasallam we will have the same end may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us and here uh, it's it's a good place to mention a hadith which is mentioned in sahih muslim and it is about the destruction that can include the righteous people when sinfulness overwhelms so in the hadith prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to aisha radhiyallahu anha to the effect that he feared the, the day that the umma will be destroyed you know the entire umma would be destroyed upon which aisha radhiyallahu anha asked o messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is it possible that we can all be destroyed even though the righteous people are amongst us and he sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied yes if all surrounding you is sinfulness and you have not protected yourself from it you begin to include yourself into it you begin to become worthy of that punishment of allah however everyone will be resurrected upon their niya their intentions their affair is with allah and the hope is always from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah also one thing that is being mentioned and that is being uh, conveyed is the reality of death and that is that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says if we die do you think you will live forever you know everyone has to die and there is a saying whenever you see a janaza being lifted know that you might be the next one so this path of death nobody is treading alone you know and everyone and everyone has to be on that path it could be you or me who is going to be next so this is the time that we have to make and we have to look at our choices because there is absolutely no one else who can protect you from the tormenting punishment اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل ارايتم ان اهلكني الله ومن معي او رحمنا فمن يجير الكافرين من عذاب اليم ان محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم استم استم اف اي هاف بين جيفن ديث اند بيبل وذ مي ماي كومبانيونز وذ مي اور الله هاز ميرسي اون اس who will save the disbelievers from the punishment the background very briefly of it of this is that the disbelievers of that time were asking or praying for the death of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions because they thought that he was misguiding their children and the people at that time but the question is even if he has been given death sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said or not you still have the same problem you have to accept the truth and we have this very issue even today many a times muslims are being killed on this thought that we need to get rid of them even if they die and you get rid of them the question is have you accepted the truth go ahead and read the book by yourself go ahead and learn it cuz if we are genuine and true and pure in our search for truth that one god that we believe in no matter what religion we come from he subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide us to the truth which is the truth of quran and this is waste of time and energy in bashing people who are giving us da'wa or trying to to be our well-wishers that we want them to get we want to get rid of them regardless of if we get rid of them or not our problem is still remaining is still same it remains and that is do we believe do we follow what we have been sent to are we 
listening to what we're being told over and again in this Quran. Uh.